on the surface, the administration was trying to de-escalate things, trying to work with the Iraqi security forces to get the demonstrators to leave and to calm things down, make sure our diplomats uh, were safe. But behind the scene, uh, Trump apparently was seething. And it was in this context uh, that he tacked back towards uh, the option to kill Qasem Soleimani. And about 36 hours later, uh, 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 JSOC, our special operations forces inside of uh, Iraq, uh, uh, used a uh, MQ-9 Reaper drone uh, to kill Qasem Soleimani as he arrived at the Baghdad International Airport. He also killed uh, the leader of Kitab Hezbollah and a number of other Iraqi militia officials. And it was in that context, of course, then that the Iranians decided to retaliate uh, by launching o an overt attack against U.S. Uh, personnel inside Iraq launching more than 20 uh, ballistic missiles, short range and medium range ballistic missiles against uh, Iraqi bases uh, in western Iraq at al-Assad and northern Iraq and Erbil uh, that house American troops. Now, fortunately for everybody in, involved, there doesn't appear uh, to have been any deaths or significant casualties either above among Americans or Iraqis. And it's fortunate not only because people didn't die, but also because it allowed uh, Trump to have an off ramp. Uh, had American blood been spilled there, I think uh, you would have seen uh, strikes inside of Iran in retaliation, and then I think we would have been off to the races. Because uh, once we would have struck the Iranian homeland, I think there would have been a massive uh, escalatory uh, dynamic. So I guess the question then is, um, you know, uh, why did the Iranians respond the way they did? Are things about to settle down? I think, you know, you've seen a lot in the news of trying to portray Qasem Soleimani as kind of the equivalent of an Osama bin Laden or a Baghdadi, a kind of terrorist mastermind at the, the head of, at a, of a vast network of terrorists and militants. And to some degree, that is an accurate characterization. Uh, but, it is, but it is not the only way in which Qasem Soleimani is viewed. Uh, as Abbas alluded, this is perhaps the second most prominent official in the Iranian uh, government, that despite his title, um, it doesn't really have the equivalent in the United States, but you can kind of think of him as a mashup between the director of the CIA, the secretary of defense, and the shadow secretary of state all rolled into one. And you can imagine if, if an American secretary of defense had been killed on foreign soil by another state, how escalatory that would be in our view. And I think for the Iranians, they saw this as a declaration of war. And in that context, their ballistic missile response was actually fairly restrained. Um, and it raises the question of, are things, is, this, is it over? 